good morning class in our last class we discussed about the different parts of the plants and we discussed also about different kinds of roots now we will discuss about the stem now all of us we know that the stem grows above the ground now according to the kinds of stem plants are classified into three groups they are trees shrubs and herbs now trees they have hard strong and woody stems this type of stems are known as trunk it holds the tree upright the example of trees are the banyan neem mango etc our second type is shrubs they have stems that are not very thick and they have what many short branches just above the ground these stems are able to hold the plant straight example rose hibiscus guava etc and the third kind of plant is they have green short and weak stems example rice wheat spinach coriander etc now we have to discuss about the function of stem now stem is very important in the plant's body a strong stem which is woody it holds the plant straight the stem carries water and food to different parts of a plant it bears branches leaves buds flowers and fruits the stems of some plants such as sugarcane potato and ginger store food we eat the stem of these plants now let us discuss this one sugarcane occurs this stem we see above the ground but potato and ginger these two stems are they stay under the ground that is why this kind of stems are known as underground stems so if anybody ask you can you name some underground stems your answer will be potato ginger etc like that here is a worksheet for you fill in the blanks number 1 stems grow dash the ground 2 hard strong and woody stems are called dash 3 trunks hold the tree dash four dash and dash are the examples of shrubs five plants having green short and weak stems are called dash stem carries water and minerals from dash to the leaves dash and dash are examples of underground stems dash and dash are examples of herbs